So what I'd like to do now is talk a little bit about sound waves and how they propagate, and I have another little demo to show you that. Okay, so here's our little slinky representing the air, and I can shoot a compression wave through it like this. You can see the, the wave go to the end and bounce, and bounce all the way back to where my heather hand is. I can stretch it out further, do the same thing. Now this is called a compression wave, where we're changing, we're pushing our hand into the direction of the medium. Now I want us to explore what would happen to this air if I could put my hand here and just kind of push on the air rapidly. So as my hand comes to this portion of the air, I'm going to very slightly increase the, the closeness of these air molecules in this tube, much as you would see in this drawing right here. So over here, what I've done is I've moved my hand very, very rapidly, and I've very rapidly and quickly compressed the air, which means I've made the average distance between the molecules much, much closer. So as soon as I begin to compress it, it wants to spring back and fly apart again, because when I compress it, the collisions are happening more frequently. And so as I compress it here, then immediately the gas is going to want to spread out. And the net effect of that is this little pressure region moves a little bit to the right because as it spreads out and I've imparted it uh, with energy this way, it's going to begin to want to spread out and the whole uh, high pressure area is going to move this way. It might spread out and diffuse a little bit, but it's in general going to want to move a little bit uh, to the right hand side. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.